Oh my god, I can't stop playing him! Hey everyone, it's Oz, welcome! Since our favorite animal dude Kazuha is getting his rerun soon, I wanted to talk about him today. And there's a lot to talk about, because his kit is one of my favorites, if not the favorite in the game. So, remember when he released in 1.6? Ah, that was a good patch. So, back then a lot of people complained about Kazuha being weak, that he's just a 5-star sucrose, as if that was a bad thing. <laughs> But nowadays he's one of the most used characters in the game, and for a good reason. So let's talk about his kit, gearing, pros and cons, and my thoughts about him. So, Kazuha. He's a 5-star anima sword user with great crowd control and excellent buffing for pyro, hydro, electro and cryo damage. His skill Chihayaburu makes Kazuha jump and pull enemies towards him. If you hold the skill, the jump will be higher and the pull will have a higher range. The skill will also deal better damage. After using Chihayaburu, your next plunging attack will deal anima damage and if the skill comes into contact with a swirlable element, it will absorb it and deal additional damage from that element. If it comes into contact with more than one element, it will prioritize Pyro over Hydro, then Electro and then Cryo. After you land the plunging attack, you will create a small tornado that will pull enemies towards it. His normal attacks mostly don't matter, but the plunging attack from his skill does scale from his normal attack talent, so you still want to level it up. Oh, also there's C6 which turns Kazuha into a non-field DPS, but you know, that's C6. His burst, it's called Kazuha Slash. I mean, it's great and all, but it's called Kazuha Slash. Come on, why? <laughs> Alright, the burst is actually really strong. It deals damage in a large area around you and creates a field that deals additional damage over next 8 seconds. Just like his skill, the burst can absorb elements dealing additional damage. And it follows the same priority list, so Pyro, Hydro, Electro and Cryo. A very important part of his kit is his passive, which makes it so that when Kazuha swirls an element, he will provide 0.04% of his elemental mastery as damage bonus to that element. And that's not limited to just one element so he can buff Electro and Hydro at the same time, for example. So if you have, let's say, 900 EM, he will provide 36% elemental damage bonus. This, combined with his ability to use Viridescent Venerer, makes him a really great buffer. Alright, let's talk his weapons, artifacts, constellations and teams. As for the weapons, he has a couple options. Of course, Freedom Sworn, which was released with him, will be great. It provides a lot of elemental mastery and buffs your team even further. But there is another sword that potentially might might be even more useful. And that's our good old Favonius sword. It gives you a lot of energy recharge and it has a great passive which can generate even more energy, often solving his ER requirements. However, you won't always need it, sometimes you'll just want to run an elemental mastery weapon and there's a couple of them. A great one is Saivo's Moonlight, which gives energy recharge to Kazuha and a smaller ER buff to your entire party. But it's a limited 4-star weapon, so I assume many people won't have it. If not, you can use Iron Sting or the event weapon Tokabu Shibure. They have the same stats but slightly different passives, both of which don't benefit Kazuha that much. So just use the one you like more. I personally use the Umbrella because the colors match Kazuha and if I don't use him with Raiden, I swap to Favon's sword. Artifacts. So, in nearly every single instance you will want to run Viridescent Venerer. It's an excellent set that provides a great buff to your party's elemental damage. There are some niche cases where you can use other sets, like Thundering Fury, but yeah, that's only some very niche stuff. If it comes to substats, unless you're C6, you will basically want to fulfill your ER requirements, which depend on the team, and then pack everything into Elemental Mastery. If you use Favonius Sword, you can just run Triple EM and will want a bit of crit rate, and if not it will depend. But yeah, generally you want some energy recharge and a lot of elemental mastery. There are also standard DPS builds, but they're generally worse than EM ones, and with C6 it's a bit more complicated. Ok, constellations. C1 decreases cooldown of his skill by 10% and makes it so that his burst resets that cooldown, so you can jump burst to jump. It allows him to run a bit less energy recharge, but of course if he's on the field you will spend less time on your other characters, so you kinda have to know whether to actually utilize it or not. His C2 is amazing. After using elemental burst, it increases elemental mastery of characters in the burst's field by 200 and increases Kazuha's EM by 200 for the duration 
duration of the burst. Not only it increases his swirl damage, but it makes him amazing at buffing reaction teams. With C2, he just gets better than Sucrose in pretty much any situation. C3 and C5 are talent buffs, so small damage boosts. Uh, C4 makes it so that when Kazuha's energy is below 45, his skill will generate more energy and gliding will restore 2 energy per second. The part with gliding, not that useful, but better energy generation from skill is always welcome. And his C6 is really interesting constellation. With C6 your skill and burst will infuse Kazuha's normal attacks with Anemo and increase their damage with Kazuha's elemental mastery. This basically allows him to be a non-field DPS. Also with C6 whether you want to run DPS or EM build will kinda depend on the team you're running. Kazuha's teams. Here! All of them! <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. But Kazuha is a very versatile character. He'll be a great pick to basically any team that focuses on pyro, hydro, electro or cryo damage, especially in AoE oriented teams. And while Sucrose will be better in teams focused on elemental reactions, as I said before that's not the case with Kazuha's C2. But even without that C2 Kazuha will be great, and more comfortable to use. So basically he works great in teams that aren't oriented around physical, geon, animo or dendro damage, kinda. He actually can be used in some hyperbloom virgin teams. Alright, we went over his kit, gear and teams, so let's talk his cons, pros and what I generally think about him. As to his cons, there aren't many and most of them are basically in some situations this character will be better. So let's start with the first one and that is Venti. As I said, Kazuha is great at crowd control, however there are situations where Venti's burst will be better than Kazuha's skill. Basically when there's a lot of light enemies, Venti will be better, but Kazuha's skill can pull heavier enemies that Venti's burst cannot pull, which is often the case in Floor 12. So basically when Venti works he's often better, but he often doesn't work in the hardest content like up is Floor 12. Second thing I talked about, Sucrose. Because she provides elemental mastery, she can be better in some situations. Unless of course Kazuha has his C2. And that's basically it. That's all. No more cons. <laughs> As for his pros, his entire kit! <laughs> no, but seriously, he's really amazing. As I said, he's a great buffer with his passive, and with his set, his crowd control is incredible, especially because it's centered around him, so it's not like with Sucrose or Venti where you can accidentally use the skill on the wrong mob and messes up where the CC is. No, it's just around him. I love it! And besides giving huge buffs and great crowd control, he also deals very solid damage in AoE, at least when he is able to swear elements, which let's be honest, he usually will be able to. And to top it all off, he's just extremely satisfying to use. His elemental skill is so good, it's just addicting. I remember when I got him, I started clearing all the world content by just applying some element to the enemies and then jumping with Kazuha. It's really that great. At this point, most of my teams that I normally use have Kazuha, with the exceptions being my staple team, so Yoimiya Overvape, and my Aggravate team, so Yae Fischl, Jongli, Nahida. But even then, I do have Aggravate variant with Kazuha, so Yae Fischl, Kazuha, and Kirara or Yao Yao. He's also a part of my Raiden team, which means I generally use him to clear every abyss, so basically, in my opinion, he's one of the most worth pulling for characters in the game. Unless, you know, you're focusing purely on Geo, Physical, Dendro teams, Kazuha will be amazing. But yeah, I do strongly recommend at least consider considering pulling for him. Go test him out! I remember that his test run put him against a lot of slimes and healers, and I thought it was just a scam. Surely he can't be that good in normal situations. But oh boy was I wrong, he is that good. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy my ramblings, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about our Kazu boy. are you rolling for him in his upcoming rerun, or maybe if you have him you can share your thoughts and experience with him. So yeah, thanks for watching, have a great day, and see ya!